Hello viewers and today I've got a slightly different video for you as I am an avid user of Game Pass and I found out a load of games are actually going to be going off it in a couple of weeks and so I just really wanted to grind through these games, experience them and why not record them while I'm at it. So I'm starting off with The Medium. This is some kind of dual reality game and that's pretty much all I know about it. It just said before I started recording to definitely use headphones so if you've got headphones at home as well then I suggest that you put them on. I'm imagining the sound design is going to be very good in this game. But without further ado, I'm just going to get straight into the game. If you do want to see more, then leave a like. And to make sure that you don't miss a future upload, make sure that you subscribe. But anyway, let's get going. It all starts with a dead girl. Fantastic. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. But part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie, simple, just the things he did every day, but looking through his stuff wasn't easy, I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Huh. Wow, I'm actually moving that character. That was a very cool movement. Probably should preface this by saying I don't like to be made to jump. I'm really hoping I don't jump. Oh, it's set in 1999. Oh, this is detailed. Funeral ultrasound. Someone's pregnant. Oh, two funerals. Wait. 
four funerals. Why are there four different funerals? Interesting. Do I see anything else? No. That's very cool now. I think I'm going to be doing a lot of walking into things. Find his tie. Where's his tie then? Can I turn the pages? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Does it tell me where he's... Oh, this is going well so far. Oh, there's a door there. Oh, can't go that way. Through this door then, I guess. This reminds me of like the old uh, Resident Evil games. Shit. Bloody hell. Yeah. Nice Christ. To see you too. Yeah, that was not nice. Uh, right. The tie clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. I, d I don't know where it is though, do I? I can put food in the bowl for the cat. Looks nourishing. Ah, okay, so... I can combine stuff, that's interesting. I don't think I can combine a key with that, though. But let's, let's feed the cat. Here you go. What's your face? Oh, Glad to see there you go, cat. Around. <laughs> oh. You pet the cat. A symbolic funeral of the seers are mine. It's the 5th of November, 1999. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. Oh, it's like a red room. It's where they make photos, isn't it? Have a look. Hmm. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Yeah, okay, so let's see if I can get this right. So, illuminate the photo. So I'm assuming that's where it dries, is it? Multigrade. So I'm assuming... Oh yeah, look, multigrade. Fixer. So, illuminate the photo for five seconds. So turn this on. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's got a ticker, that's good. So, I need to place it first, then one, two, three, four, five. Then take it, put it in this for three seconds. One, two, three. All the photos coming out, look, it's a person. Hopefully, I'm not just seeing things. And I put it in this one for three seconds. One, two, three. <gasps> Here it is. And I put it in that one. I must have long arms. One, two, three. That's the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shit. Did a pretty good job. 
There we are. Got the photo. Cool. And that's everything in here. Cat's had his dinner look. Can I go this way? Into the bedroom? Oh, it's a bathroom. Uh, bloody hell, it's a mess in here. 1984. That's by George Orwell. Anything of interest on it? A barcode. Can't touch it, then. Nothing else here at the moment. This is confusing. I wouldn't let me go that way. Let's go this way. Nope, nothing. Just, just a wall. This way and left. Hello, cat. Wherever you are. Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. But she's saying Jack, but why was she saying Dad Jack earlier? Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. What's that? Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Oh, that's his okay. tie clip. Let's do this the other way. <sighs> Press and hold LB to activate insight. <gasps> How do I do that? What's, what flags? That's a Polish flag. Well, I found the clip. That makes me want to uh, do that more. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. Okay. What's all this then? I used to think I'd never fit in, but Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept hmm. telling me I was special. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Jack yeah, was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. Oh, that's why there's so many funerals. Wonder if I do. Can I do that here? Hmm. Right, off we pop. This way. Weird to be back in my old room. So many hmm. memories. This is a cool room. Yeah. Got the detail on these rooms is so cool. For them. Butterflies. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it mm. well. That's why there's so many of them here. I wonder if there will be like a prompt to know when I should do that insight thing, because otherwise I'm just going to do it at everything. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. <laughs> that was the least I could do. So, apparently this game takes roughly seven to eight hours to complete, as long as I don't try and 100, 100% it. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for oh doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for oh making dear. him go through all that. Okay, we must request that you attend a parent-teacher meeting, as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne, I'm assuming that's who I'm playing, gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. 
We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling a fellow student, but we're sure you realise that this behaviour is inappropriate to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioural problem we've informed you about, we believe it is high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Oh dear. That's interesting. Uh, primary school number seven. That's what they uh, they call the schools in like Poland and Ukraine and Russia. I think that's mad. Anyway. My Horses. oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Jesus, so at the age of three, second degree thermal burns, covering 35% of total body surface area. Inhalation injury. Huh. Can't see any burns on them, though. Interestingly, my head isn't moving when I do this look. Oh well. Anyway, right, going, time to go and see Jack, who I'm assuming is the... Not the dad, but the father figure. Right, so this is the way out, I guess. Here we are. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, God, the if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Huh. Out we go, I guess. I'm get, I get so confused when the thing changes angle and I'm pushing the stick in one direction. I don't really know what I'm doing. No idea. Wait, hang on, let me just. Can you. Can I run? I can't even... it's literally a walkthrough. Okay, that's a cool shot. Look at that, how cool is that? Never played a game like this before. Out we go, I suppose. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Anything to see here? I just I just don't really... I mean, there's so much detail. You, could, it, I feel like I can't just walk past it. Oh, look at how the camera creeps along the ground. That is so cool. Oh, hang on. There is something here. A last goodbye funeral home. So I'm guessing I could find that tie clip because it had a sentimental value to the guy, so you could use your insight to find it, I guess. The last goodbye funeral home. There. I'm assuming I'm probably meant to go through there, but yeah. let's have a quick look. Who doesn't? Need to get out. <laughs> Someone just walked past the window, that was very eerie. Right. In we go. I meant to... Ah, funeral home key, of course. 
Jack's in the prep room. Prepare Jack for his last journey. I wonder if I can actually, like, with my insight, talk to him. Prep room. Uh, let's go there in a sec. Let's have a look around. If I can look at all this stuff now, I'm probably going to need to look at it in a bit, but... Just in case I don't. I swear Krakow spout with a K. Oh, I wrote that note. Here it is. Ah, prep room key. Oh, it's a good job I didn't try and get in then. I needed I needed to get the key. A red phone. All these urns. But he earned a lot of money in this business. Right. Key. Prep room key. Oh, I've lost the other key. Did I leave it in the door? Or I guess it's just used and unlocked, isn't it? Dark. Is there a light switch? Or is it meant to be dark? Oh, bloody hell. These camera angles really set you up for a bit of tension, don't they? Jesus. Assuming he's in there. Hey, Jack. Bloody hell. Oh, this is unnerving. I feel like he's going to look at me. Oh, I need a tie, obviously, don't I? What am I, I doing? Special clip. Where's your tie? Oh, I feel like he's just gonna be like, Hello! Tie, 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 tie. Is it there? I left it. Oh, I bet I've gotta go back upstairs, haven't I? It's not like in his pocket, is it? Oh, God. Oh, wait. Is that it? Right, but next to me, I'm an idiot. What an idiot. Combine clip with tie. Press A. Press A. There we go. Jack's tie with the clip. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. Right. Let's try this again. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. Please don't open your eyes. Please don't open your eyes. Please don't open your eyes. Am I? <laughs> oh, God.
Shut the door, please. Thank you. Oh, can't you people read? The sign says closed. <gasps> oh, no. Fantastic. Yeah, let's just leave. Let's just leave. Away. Out the door. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. What is that? That was a... Did not like that. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not liking this. Oh, God. Okay, well, why did that door... For Christ's sake. I guess I've got to go in there. I really don't want to. Oh, bloody hell. What the hell? I'm not enjoying this. Check it upstairs. I don't want to go upstairs. Guess you felt it too, huh? Well, all the chairs have been strewn across the bloody room. Oh, why is the field of view changing? That's not the right way. Oh, that's not nice. Unenjoyable. This way? I literally don't know where to go. I've been this way. I wish this music would stop. There's a way up this way. And oh. then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh no. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? Oh, oh, Marianne, are, are you, are you crying, my child? Oh, bloody hell. I... It's fine, Jack. Now, now you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully, eh? Jack, you should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. I, know, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... you are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Is that so it's okay, Jack. It's okay. This is so weird. What would I ever do without you? Jack. Don't worry about it. It's time to get some rest. Yeah? No. I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once uh, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be 
fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff then. All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I need no. Yes, yes. Be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. Wow. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too. So he didn't know he was dead? I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But, no. I was the only one. Oh. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. Cool. What a cliffhanger for the first little chapter. start well I'm gonna let this sort of pre-credit thing roll out and then I think we'll probably leave it there for for this sort of episode or should we say of the game it's story wise like narratively it is very very interesting I always have loved the thought of the uh, alternate realities oh wow it's actually a real place isn't it And, uh, you know, when you actually get to interact in a game with it, and that dual reality thing, if you could actually control the character in that, that could be really cool. If you have made it this far into the video, thank you very much for uh, for watching, and do let me know down in the comments if you are enjoying this slightly different uh, gameplay. It's not going to be at the expense of any of the uh, Warzone gameplay, I'm just sort of doing it alongside, really. But I still hope that at least a couple of us can can enjoy it. The medium.
Well, anyway, as I said, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I shall see you in the next one. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place.